What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Timo with Timo Paints. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can get all the equipment that you need to start a paint business for zero dollars. But first, I want to tell you guys about this free estimating guide that I created. Um, I've always had trouble estimating houses and I'm sure some of you guys run into those issues. So I created an estimating sheet. It's free, my gift to you, and it'll help you dial in your pricing so you never felt like you underbid ever again. So let's get into the video about how to get all the equipment for a start a painting business for zero bucks. Now, I say zero dollars because it is possible. Now it's not a clickbait, I promise. But in reality, most people I think can scrounge up probably three or four or five bucks because some of the things that I'm gonna mention are gonna cost a few bucks. So the first thing out the gate, this footage is showing me spraying an exterior. Now, if you need to get a sprayer, basically what you do is you rent the sprayer, right? You rent the sprayer. You don't have to put a deposit down. You go to a paint store. I prefer to go to Kelly Moore. I mean, I don't rent sprayers anymore, but when I did rent sprayers, I'd go to Kelly Moore, but you could go to a Lowe's or a Home Depot. Usually it costs you anywhere from 45 to 65 bucks to rent a sprayer. Now let's say, oh, well, how do I rent that? I don't have a card or I don't have the money or whatever. Like maybe I need the sprayer for two days, but it's a five day job before I actually get paid. Now here's the kicker, right? When you get a job and you estimate the job, let's say a standard single story exterior, you're just getting started out. It's a friend of a friend or a cousin or an aunt, whatever. You tell them about two grand. Now, just ask them for like 500 bucks up front. They'll give you 500 bucks up front and that'll allow you to buy the equipment. Now, if it's now, I recommend doing that. I mean, if it's somebody you know and you you have the, the gusto to get out there and start this business, but you need to help to get started, just pitch it to your family members. Everybody needs their house painted eventually. So, They'll trust you already and they know that you're not going to take and skirt with the money, right? So you take the money and you invest it. Now, that's the way literally that I started. Like my first couple of jobs, I got small deposits. I'd go buy a brush, a bucket, a ladder, a roller pole or whatever, you know, because you need you need those things to expand the business. But at first, your first job, get in there, win the sell, get them to trust you because you are trustworthy. You're not you have good intentions, right? So get in there get the job done, but it's pretty standard to ask for a deposit. Now it's not like they're not going to be thrown off. Just keep it small. Um, in California, I think it's about 30%. You can ask for sometimes it's 15%. I don't know. I typically ask for about 25 to 30% from the client ahead of getting started. And that's because I usually have to buy paint. Um, but for you, maybe you can negotiate a deal. You tell me I'll paint the outside your house for two grand. Um, the paint's going to be about six to eight hundred dollars which is pretty standard for an exterior house ballpark figure you tell them hey you buy the paint um or just tell them to buy you the stuff like if it's your aunt or whatever so basically that's all i'm trying to get at um a lot of these things also you could find at yard sales yard sales are a great place to go to find like old rollers because sometimes people will buy this stuff they get all gung-ho or they'll buy it to do a diy project it's instead of hiring somebody they put the money in the tools and they realize they're never really using them again so this is my uh, guide to you guys to start a business for zero dollars. Get the job first. Once you get a client, I would start with the aunt, uncle, grandma, brother, sister, whatever, anybody, somebody you know, like a neighbor, give them a killer deal on the house, work your butt off, do a great job, you know, collect that deposit, go out, rent the equipment that you need, or just buy the equipment. If it's something you could do by hand, like a house like this with siding, technically you probably could do by hand. Um, this is summertime, so it's almost a must to spray, but... I hope this helps you guys out. Um, I could go into more detail, so make sure to hit subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. If you want a more detailed video on something on how exactly like you want me to walk you through it, I could do that. Um, but I don't know if anybody's out there wants me to do that. So if you want me to do that, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, I do have a free estimating guide. So that way you could give a good price and you could get a good deposit and you can go buy some good equipment. And then the next job you're on, you know, you don't have to ask for a deposit. You're like, yeah, I'm here. I'm ready to go. I got my tools. So don't forget to check the description below. The top link will be that free estimating guide and it'll be the pinned comment in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.